Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back once again. So I'm going to be starting with Phoenix Point here in a second. I almost said Phoenix fucking nine. <laughs> Phoenix nice life, yes. Uh, we're going to start in with Panama Guinness in a second. Okay, it's going to get the channel up. There we go. Uh, awesome. Right, here we go. So we're going to continue from where we left off. I'm going to <laughs> redo that mission. Like I got my ass kicked. Which really sucks. Uh, but we're going to go forward, and we should be okay. Now, it's actually rather interesting in regards to faction bear. When faction relations reach 75, you will become allied in that faction's full research tree. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that we have to actually uh, choose which faction. I kind of like the idea of the faction where it's like that sort of symbiosis between like humanity and like Pandoran uh, Malaki. That one looked rather interesting. But I really am looking forward to getting into the game further and deeper. Which would be fun. Okay. Takes a little while to load. But yeah, the game feels a lot more stable. I mean, with uh, XCOM, you did have some real issues. Especially, like, on the uh, the landing base. I can't remember what it was called now. But there's, like, some issues with the frame right now. Okay, fair enough, it's actually taking a while. <laughs> that might be one of the issues there. But I'm sure it'll be okay. I think what we'll do then to approach the mission this time is... <sighs> it was good sending the heavy out in front. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we did. We sent the heavy out in front last time. And that worked well because we killed one of the dudes immediately. But then obviously we see that some... Uh, it was like the female, wasn't it? Where she had some sort of, like, sonic attack and then it caused our guys to panic. <sighs> so we've got to bear that one in mind, really. I think what we'll do is we maybe move through the actual building itself. Quickly. So I'm thinking I'll have the assaults up front. And we might go this way. It's one of those where it might potentially send us into a difficult spot to be flanked. How you doing there, Honoris? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Second try, indeed. I'm going to go for that. I think I'm going to approach it in a different uh, different way, really. I think I'll have the assaults maybe move through the building itself, and maybe the heavy to follow up, or we'll see. We can do it. I think this is it. We jumped... Well, I jumped the shark, I reckon. Probably a little bit too much by having the heavy move up so far ahead. So we'll see how we go like this. Okay, yep, yeah, go forward. Did you enjoy this stream out of Honoris? That's the question. Did people enjoy watching it? It's a fun game, I'm enjoying it so far. Definitely get that XCOM feel, and that's what I like. Okay, so we, yeah, we can see a guide there. Enemy spotted, enemy spotted, okay, yeah, so he's seen us. He's seen all of us. Is he going to be able to take a shot? And we see an enemy out there. So we've seen the same map, but we see things happening here rather, rather differently. Let's see, whoops, going up there. Okay, from that position, he would actually be able to gain a shot. Not from there, unfortunately. But from here, I could get the short. Which I'm going to go. I'm going to go and try and use the heavy for the short here. Oops, stop zooming up. Right, so if I fire... I mean, that's looking fairly good there. I, mean, I might want to aim for more mass. Uh, this may kill him. It looks like we do 156 to 158 damage in a shot. I might want to aim for that about there, which... My, yeah, we'll see. I think this might go for it, so we'll try and aim for the head then, I guess. Well, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's no shock. Ah, Palumbo. Palumbo. Hello, SDRG. First time I've been able to catch a stream. Ah, thanks, man. I feel like some kind of artist now. <laughs> but one with no talent. So, yeah, exactly, exactly right with that. But I love the fact that that is completely fair now. That, uh, that summarizes a lot of how things go, doesn't it, really? Oh, of course it bloody does. Ah, oh, fudging sakes. That really kind of annoys me there. <laughs> All I needed was just that single shot, but no, of course not. Fudging typical. Okay. So we're aware of an enemy here, we're aware of an enemy there, so it's not too bad really. I think what I'll do then is... I could take a shot from here, maybe. Uh, 
I'll move there. I should be able to hit his face with this. I'm pretty sure we could hit his face. I could maybe look to destroy the weapon, perhaps, but I don't think it would destroy the weapon. It's interesting that you can even do that. It's one of those, if I hit his arm, does it make him drop the weapon, but is it guaranteed? See, the issue is the sniper rifle is great, but it doesn't do enough damage to outright kill him, but I think this would cause bleeding damage. It would obviously reduce his willpower there. So, yes, it would reduce his max hit points by 20 as well. And that would just call bleeding. Hmm. I think what we'll do then is we'll... Yeah, I'm not familiar with the game mechanics as such as of yet to say, like, whether or not this would definitely make him drop the weapon. It might... Might stop him from using the weapon, so I think I can go with that. It's like, this would hurt him, obviously reduce his willpower, but then it's like a question of... Well, he might panic then, but I don't know how much willpower he has to begin with. So if I come out of this, and then if I look to... Yeah, we'll see here. So, info. Will point is six in total. He's carrying a New Genico Gauls Assault Rifle, which kind of, yeah, that probably would hurt. I could, I could take a hit. I could take a hit. At least one hit. I might make him, I don't know, maybe we'll go for the willpower. He would begin to bleed, man, for sure. That drops his hit points by ten. I think we'll aim for the head, man. Yeah, which... Definitely hurts him bad. Disabled head. He's, his ability to aim might not be as great now. So we'll see you there. Now, what do I do here then? I could place myself in a position to overwatch. Oops, not like that. So we could overwatch this area here. Hmm. I mean, I could overwatch that. <laughs> Indeed. I mean, I could always shift up over here, then I would actually be able to kill him, and I think that's probably what we want to do here, then. I could go there and shoot him, which should be enough, but I don't want to, like, leave myself exposed, so I think we'll go here. And then I'm able to get the shot off. I could even just whack him and probably take him out with a whack. Ooh, a whack won't do it. Wow. Alright, okay. I guess we'll shoot him and... Uh, I don't think it's going to do any additional damage. It's incredible, isn't it, how tough these guys are? <laughs> okay, maybe we'll shoot the arm. Ow. Did he miss? Son of a bitch is tough. Son of a bitch he is tough. Hmm... I could even exit via here and actually go into Overwatch, which I think probably is a better idea, man. Yeah, it's a shame that the cannon shot didn't actually hit to begin with. That's kind of kind of bugged me over a little bit. But I'll set up an Overwatch over here, then. Right, and we'll see how we go there. He's going to take 10 damage, then, from bleeding. Oh, of course, but that's why we went to cover here. So, I'm happy with that. Are they going to go out there? Smart, son of a bitch. Wow, that really hurt. <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, fuck it hell. Okay, let we're gonna have to restart that. Fuck's sake. <laughs> fuck it hell. I can't believe it. I just... <laughs> Fuck's sake. Why did that happen? Oh, I can't even speak now. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. I'm just, I'm just honestly flabbergasted. That's just, I just cannot believe that. Okay. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. The fucking chances, you know, man. You know the chances of that. Just, oh, fuck's sake. Right, we'll have you go there and then you can actually fucking overwatch, because fuck's sake. <sighs> I can't believe it. I just can't. I just can't. Can't even. <laughs> it's brought a bit of a tear to my eye, to be honest. Oh, good God. 
Right we'll see. We'll let the enemy react to this one, I guess. At least I can go into a launch. Ah, uh, good god. I mean, maybe do I just like... Yeah, I mean, this is it. Overwatch isn't as powerful in this game, which is nice. I could have you deploy there. You don't get any cover there. I'll deploy you there. And just... Just overwatch this general area, really. Uh, in all honesty. Yeah, end the turn. Oh, well, I'm glad that we set the overwatch there. Son of a... Pitch. I mean, we are playing on Legendary or whatever the top difficulty is. It's like in Legendary or Impossible or some BS side part. So, yeah, they are tough and they are very good. But we'll win. We'll win. Okay, at least they're all down here on the bomb floor. We can work with that. I've got one of them inside. Yeah, he took... Well, she took damage. Well, Jack took damage. But... Alright, you actually don't have eyes on them. Hmm... I mean, what I could do is actually move out of the way and, like, wait for the enemy to come. Which might not be a bad idea to potentially redeploy, considering that they're all in this area. Uh, but I do have something to level the odds here. That being a grenade. So I could throw it out there and that would hit him and potentially destroy part of the terrain, so I'm going to go for that. Did not. Why would it not do that? Oh, can I? I can't throw because I'm inside. Okay, so I could move there then from. But what I'll do then is actually move some even more health. I reckon. Hmm. So we'll go there. Right, now I can throw them. Jesus, they are tough sons of bitches. Maybe if I throw it about there. But then it's like one of those cases of maybe if I blow that door open, it's probably going to give them a shot. So I think I don't want to do that. So I'll throw it there. We'll see how that goes. Okay, it's damaged his weapon there, which is interesting. It reduces armor. Uh, do I have a shot from here? Yes, I do have a shot now. The question is, do I want to be in that position to take that shot? Now, you do have a shot, but it looks like uh, my friend's in the way. You would have a shot from there. Hmm. I think what I do is... Maybe pull back to this position, go into Overwatch. It's a bit tough, but then again, he's low on, well, she, well, yes, he's low on uh, HP, so I do want to be careful. So I'm going to set an overwatch to that position there. Now, you do surely have the short. Oh, you don't, because of that bloody thing. So I could move up there and take a shot. Or I could move behind cover and still have a shot, so I'm going to move behind cover and have a shot, you know. I think that's probably better for our chances there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Probably, uh, I'll I'll let him take the shot. Yeah, okay. I guess we could only see the leg there. But well done. You actually hit, which is nice. Issues I could have you move up there and take the shot, but then you're out in the open where you could be potentially shot then. So what it might be worthwhile doing then is actually having you on Overwatch. Which I will do. Go for that. Hmm. Not good. Okay. Live. You must live. Live for the fatherland. None of these other watches going off. Okay, that sounds great. Is that it? Is that it? No? No? Oh my god, it is. Oh. Oh. Sweet mother of mercy. How do I not have a shot on any of them? You're like literally there. But I do have a shot there. God damn it. Let's go. Preparing to fire. 
Hmm. That would kill him. Should more or less kill him whenever I am, but I'm going to try and aim for the head. Please hit. Fuck it! Why? Why does he do this to me? Fudging motherfucker. Just hit. Just hit for the love of Christ. Let's see. Come on, you gotta hit that, but uh, I'll let him take the shot. Yes! Oh, good God, we actually hit something. Oh, I love how the window just dropped off. Oh, my God. Okay. It's not excellent, but at least I can get some shots off. Son of a bitch. This game is tough, isn't it? It, it definitely is tough. <sighs> well, we can't really see very much of him, can we? I guess we hit the, the leg, I guess? I don't know. It's not really going to do very much for him, is it? Mm. I guess try and hit the leg. Okay, yeah. Uh, you can't move, unfortunately. God damn it. How much damage does that do? I don't know how much damage it does. Okay, so I think that's the heal, isn't it? Okay. I don't really want to be this close, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm. Yeah, see that, please. Don't shoot me back. That's not nice. Shoot him in again. Stop shooting me. We are, we're pretty much guaranteed to lose somebody here. I just, ah, oh, just fuck's sake. <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> Why does it have to happen every time? Why must they all die? Yeah, and the, now they're dead. Yeah. <sighs> I, I just think it's impossible to save everybody, so we'll just carry on from this point. Aha. Uh -huh. They can miss. That's nice. Oh, she's not good news. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, if you want to hit, say, yeah. <laughs> uh, can I even kill her to even stop that? Is that stop the mind control? I was kind of hoping it would do. Oh, okay, she'll die to bleeding. I mean, maybe I just run away. Which might not be the best, uh, sorry, worst idea ever. So in theory, two of them should die to uh, bleed in. She dies, she dies. So he's back on my team now. Okay. I'm not going to say that wasn't very... That, that didn't go well. That went well, to be honest. It actually went well. All things considered.
Good God, we hit him. Stop shooting me bloody back. Ready to engage. Oh, fuck's sake. Hmm. Yeah, I see there's another one there. Maybe I heal myself up at this point. Yeah, probably worthwhile endeavor. Could have done that earlier, but hey. Never that bright, am I? Well, at least there's loot over here, which is interesting. Hmm. At least I can get a shot in cover there, so that's more than worthwhile. Overwatch, of course. Ow. But not so bad. I was gonna let him take the shot. Yep, that'll do it. Love the cannon, man. Right, he's panicked. Bitch better be panicked. No cover there. So he's got ways to move there. Uh, I'd like to get up high. So I think... And I could move to that position there. Hmm. But does that do me any good? I could move inside here. I should be able to get an overwatch off, I think. Oh no, okay, if I could do Overwatch afterwards, oh well. I think I'll go here to make sure that I can get the Overwatch. Move you up. Might be able to grab that loot then. Oh no, not yet. Okay, do I get the overwatch? Yes? No? Yes? Not gonna be... Okay, well that's fine. Shoots the guy with the most armor, that's okay. I can manage that. Interesting, not proficient. But I think it's better than what we have. I'm gonna grab it. I don't know if I get loot after the mission, to be honest. Uh, probably better off putting it back down, aren't I? I think it cost me an AP, though. Well, what I'll do is go into a watch. Yeah, that'll do. You can hit those shots, but you can't hit the good shots. You can't hit the easy shots. So I don't know what to say. The game hates me and sometimes it loves me, but we'll take it. I don't think I could have done that without losing somebody, which sucks. But hey, we learned from a lesson there. Still sucks. Still can't believe your accuracy let me down so badly, but it did. But here we are. Onwards and upwards, chums. Onwards and upwards. I suppose we're going to be guaranteed to lose people out with this difficulty. 
and obviously without any prior experience. Oh well. Oh well, I say. I okay. I assumed the Phoenix Project would return one day, even after Symes disappeared. It seems to be the defining pattern of your history. Fall, then rise again. I wonder if this point. So I was drinking a cup there. Weakness or an underlying strength. I suppose time will have to tell. Time and the choices you make. Hmm. After all, you are not necessarily defined by what has come before. You can be whatever your will allows you to be. That is the essence of the human experience. Interesting. That is why I did not intervene. Oh, okay, material 600, Jericho opinion. ourselves easily enough. But I needed hmm. you to see, to understand that far more is at stake here than just our ecosystem or our genetic purity. We are being robbed of what makes okay. us human, our will. I fear neither the utopians at Sanhedrin nor those cool. new fanatics really understand. So there's new Jericho then. Better danger than disgrace. Okay, population 9,479. Operation range 1,000. 229 kilometers. That's interesting. Right. Well, we'll have to head back. I don't know if I gained any loot from that. Yeah, I must have done. I must have done. That is interesting, man. So we could re uh, reverse engineer their weapons, which do seem to be slightly better than our assault rifles. We'll see. Uh, New Genico is a militaristic organization funded by the enigmatic, enigmatic billionaire Tobias West, interesting. Uh, we'll head back. I do wonder how I recruit personnel. I guess that's what it meant by recruiting from uh, Havens. Uh, but we'll take a look over here then. So, training. Uh, 50 soldier experience then. Hmm. Right, okay. So these are the abilities I can get then. Are they all the same in terms of actual... Yeah, okay. Overwatch is reduced by one action point. So I can't go for that yet. So it seems that we share. Oh no, we don't. Okay, that's cool. Right, how many tiles can be moved? Okay. So we've got dash, move to a target position within half the normal movement range. <clears throat> Gain shotgun and melee weapon proficiency. That's worthwhile. I guess you can get both. Yeah, uh, move to a target position within half of the normal movement range. Interesting. Um, hmm. Well, the entire point of this class is movement, so I think I will pick that up. I think willpower is going to be important for this class. Alright, so that's been saved. I guess we'll go for that. I'm not too particularly fond of it, but it could be very handy. I don't know as of yet. Hey, dude, man, no name. Good to have you, my dude. I might go for an increased strength, but I think willpower is definitely something I want to try to address now. The reason being, well, panic is very bad. Yeah, I know it might be perhaps not the best way to... Obviously, that goes there, then. Okay. Hey, Dumbad Pixel, not too bad, my friend, not too bad. How about you? How are you doing? Right, seven, man. Probably worthwhile picking that up. Um, it's interesting so far. I've had my ass kicked pretty rough uh, for this. But yeah, it's getting good. It's really good. 
Tiny has a big gun. Yeah, Tiny does have a big gun. <laughs> he's, not, he's not making up. <laughs> Why would you say that? Oh, dear. Okay, we'll go with that. Yeah, uh, that's a difficult one here, isn't it? As to, like, how much to actually have them carrying, etc. Oh, so we did grab these weapons, then. That's rather interesting. So, I've got a little bit in the way of ammunition as well. So if I take a look over here, then, let's compare them. So, 40... Six bursts, that's interesting. I guess burst is like how many shots have actually fired. Yeah, it's by the people who made XCOM, so it's very, very XCOM-y. Um, let's see, so ammo capacity is 36 there. Hands to use, two, wait, three. Wait, three hands, yeah, two. Less ammo capacity, action points are the same. Effective range is a little bit less. Burst is four, but the damage is actually higher. Which is interesting. If I go to manufacturing... Um, can I... Do I have access to shotguns or anything yet? That's a handgun. It's the cannon, which is awesome. Uh, I don't have shotguns yet. If I scrapped items... Hmm. Yeah... Yeah, interesting. So I could try to actually reverse engineer these to actually produce my own, really. Allows me to recruit more people. Well, what I'm going to do, then, is... Hmm. I'd like to reverse engineer that. So I think then what we do is we'll go back to personnel. Need some time to heal anyway. So equipment. Yeah, you place that back. You have that. Okay. Uh, ammo. Okay. Oh, I see. Cool. Okay. Then what I'll do is go to manufacturing. Uh, scrap items. Yeah, we gained some sort of research from this, so it's not... Yeah, tech. Scrap that. Just the one there. Personnel. Yeah, but, um, yeah, pretty destructible. Which is quite good. Obviously, we're still getting used to it, but it, it seems pretty destructible. Uh, drag here to scrap, so I'm going to scrap that. Scrap that. <laughs> That, I don't think, has... Well, it seems to be some... Which, yeah, I guess we'll go, we'll go for that. Gives us some, like, tech here, which I'm not entirely sure how we use. I don't know if it actually does... Um, okay, so it seems to be used for, like, building here, which is interesting enough. Living quarters. Now, living quarters is probably worthwhile. Do I have a living quarters? I've got one here. It could be worthwhile having a second access lift, and it could be a reason to not do so, as obviously then, yeah, uh, an escape and, well, exit is also an entrance, isn't it? I don't have a tech for these yet. I could look towards actually manufacturing the scarab. Or even another manticore. Maybe we'll just save them and see what we can do with it once we have some more research. So we'll go forward. I would like to recruit more personnel, so we'll see what we can do. I think rec uh, reverse engineering the enemy's equipment is worthwhile. Right, let's see what we've got here. Um, right. Interesting. I don't know what this is. Scavenger insight. Okay, we'll take a look at that shortly. But let's take a look at our research, man. So... Right. Was that research that they were working on, or research I could work on? I'm not entirely sure of that. Haven recruitment protocols. Have I just... Oh, is that the mission there? Archives. Right, we're not there yet. So these are objectives, right, okay. After recovering the base and analysing the databanks that have been left functional, it is clear that Phoenix Point is now the only operating Phoenix base. There may be other bases out there, but we will need to find them and bring them back online. There's no sign of Randolph Symes. 
uh, the third, but he has left something potentially useful for us. Okay, new use, uh, useful research there. Randall Symes was the last leader of the Phoenix Project. His great-grandfather had been there when it was founded, and he was there to witness its end. When we took back Phoenix Point, we found his notes. In his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he had been working frantically to understand the Pandora virus. Somewhere in the complicated history of the project, in decades of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted. But perhaps, if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him, and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. Ryan Fascinating. Indicates the existence of, private, of a private retreat owned by the Symes family uses a place of meditation uh, uh, and research. It may contain information that could help us understand what Symes was trying to achieve in his final days. Interesting. The Symes retreat. We should send our operatives to, uh, operatives to investigate. Okay. Yeah, creepy indeed. Uh, huh. So I think that would allow us to resist, perhaps? New Jericho. So it actually does give us uh, 250 materials there, which is quite nice. Bonus effects. Yeah, delirium monitoring system is available, which is interesting. Oh, so we can actually see that we then increase our damage against certain... Uh, yeah, that we gain materials from. That's rather interesting. If we're going to work on this so we can actually recruit new people. So right now, I don't want to go with more... Well, I don't want to go with any less than uh, four people, really. Hmm. Okay, you can now recruit soldiers from Havens. A recruiting is vital in order to achieve victory. In order to recruit, send your aircraft to a Haven with a recruit soldier icon next to it. Right. Then select Haven info from the side menu and press the recruitment button. Okay. You can only recruit if you have enough resources and the Haven leader has a positive attitude towards you. So... Huh, interesting. I don't think I can actually recruit from here then. Hmm. So it did say like about the uh, icon, didn't it? Okay. Yeah. We can now trade resources with Havens. I think that is worthwhile to actually have, so we're going to put that on there. I'm going to go to the scavenging site with our personnel. Right, okay. Did I... Are the personnel not aboard? They're on board Manticore 1, so I guess we can't for some reason. I don't know what the reason is. No valid target, then okay. No, it's not giving the mission, so I guess not. We'll have food production soon. I could look at some of these areas here and try to figure out what's going on. It's on its plot side there. Hmm. We'll start close to the base then. Well, I'm already close to this one, so I might as well go to that one. Right, explore. Right, our operatives have discovered the broken remains of an experimental synodrium. Syndrome, I don't know. Synodrium? Synodrium? It's new dream. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Uh, mobile lab. Apparently, vehicles suffered a contaminant failure. Right. Sounds your equipment without informing them. Take everything useful, then inform them. Yeah. It's new dream. Yeah, it's one of those of do we take it all and not tell them, take it and tell them. Hey, do they track to you? Oh, good to have you, my friend. I can inform them and give them all of that, which is one of those things of, while. 
we gain relations with a faction. If I don't do this, I might lose relations with a faction, which might put us in a difficult position in the future. But then again, we're in a position here where we need to actually establish ourselves to begin with, and we could always like change the relations in the future. Uh, it might piss them off if we tell them that we stole it. But then they might know anyway, so it's one of those, if we take it, we take it, if we don't, we don't. So it's like, better commit to one than the other. What do you guys reckon? Do we take the equipment? We don't know what the equipment is, which makes things difficult as well, because we don't know what we might be taking. We don't know whether it's actually worth a uh, while. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of leaning towards actually informing them about the discovery and giving them the equipment. Because it's one of these things of, well, we don't know what we would actually gain so we don't really have anything that we would miss and it's one of those that we gain faction relations without any any downside really and the downside would be that we wouldn't have equipment but then again we don't know what the equipment is now equipment is sufficient for the time being we are working on reverse engineering some of the new jericho equipment so i'm gonna go ahead and i think i'm gonna choose to inform them at a discovery so what do you guys reckon is that the right choice do you agree with that I think I think we should be moral. I think we should be moral. I mean, this is deceptive. It doesn't it doesn't mean that it's actually going to be weapons. It could be it. Yeah, we'll go for this and inform them, give them equipment. Right. Uh, Doctor Hussein Habenik, a Sinjin, a Sinjin scientist who helped design the lab, says that a message of thanks he had argued against deploying it so early but was outvoted. There's little pleasure to be had in being proven right about if it's so terrible, he says, but at least we know what happened and can learn from it. Yeah, we've actually gained more in terms of uh, reputation than we did from the previous mission, so I think that was probably worthwhile. I think what we'll do then is we'll head back to base. So I think this seems to be our range here. Yeah, it seems like we do have to take range into consideration then. Uh, I still can't recruit here, which is unfortunate. So we'll go explore over here near the base. Right, area scan, I guess. And again, I could actually explore this directly. Right. And this Indrian haven of Ginsburg, the situation is tense. Someone figured out that our open and democratic society would be easy to infiltrate and steal from. When the haven citizen tells our operatives they pretend to join us and made off with some cru uh, critical research, which I assume they want to sell to another faction. The citizen uh, sighs. It is, uh, I said they made off, but the truth is they didn't get very far. In fact, they're stuck in the haven. But as you can imagine, this is a strange situation. These people pretend to be our friends. They've lived in Ginsburg for months. All just make profit. I suppose old habits die hard. We could assist them with the problem. So let's see. Right. Stop a group of thieves who have stolen critical research. Guess we'll go for it. Okay. I mean, this is it. Uh, let's see. Too bloody heavy. At least they gained this. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but it's only Epic Store, but it's one of those of, eh, it is what it is, really. What can you do about it? Hmm. Yeah, we have some armor here. Oh, well. We'll see how we get on here. We do have more skills. We have, uh higher level of willpower as well which is nice so we shouldn't see as much in the way of panicking as we had done in previous restarts uh so ideally van may gives an advantage well that's one of these things when it won't give us a disadvantage we only gain from that we are free rather than four so we will have to be more cautious by far uh, but we'll see what we're dealing with really Difficulty is that human enemies are just as dangerous as the alien, if not more so in ways. Love a look at the Manticore, though. Okay. Kill all enemies. This looks like a very nice place. Very nice indeed. How you doing there, Mikey Mike Mike? Good to have you, my dude. 
Yeah, the heavies don't really move too far. But then again, they don't really need to. I don't really have an idea of where the enemy is at this moment in time. Right, move to attack position. With, I don't know why I'd, I'd want to do this. Is, just, is this just like a free thing and then can I do actions? I'm not entirely sure how this works. Uh, Honorish, you have my permission to explain that mechanic. <laughs> you are free to go, sir. Right, let's see. So that's an extraction point, it seems. Always worthwhile bearing by mind. I do have a rule of thumb is basically always aim to be up high, as it generally does save you from a lot of different things. I'll move there, to begin with. Okay, nothing's happened. Move to that point there. It could be that we just simply go into Overwatch until we actually figure out where the enemy is, first and foremost, to be honest. But I guess into a position here. I'd like to keep together now. Okay, there we go. The enemy does reveal themselves to a degree. <laughs> yeah, that's a mechanic I haven't used myself. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Right, there we go. We see the enemy. At least when it range the sniper does come in very handy. Um, uh, We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to look for full cover, really, ideally. But at least this is your time to shine. Preparing to fire. <laughs> okay. These guys are rather cool. Yeah, we need a bigger squad. I, the only issue is I can't recruit anybody at the moment, so it's kind of sucky. I could aim at the leg, reduce their distance that they could cover. I could try to aim at the arm. It's one of these things that I'm, I'm not guaranteed to actually hit. Uh, I'm going to go for the larger target in the leg, reduce their ability to move. They're nice, and they're now bleeding. So they actually weren't aware of us, which is interesting. I could reload, or I could take a shot with that, but I'm going to just hold tight. I wish I could zoom in a little bit more. Oh well. Yeah, what's our chances to hit with this? <sighs> Not exactly great, but I'm probably eh, eh, could move there, get slightly closer. But I think what I'll do is I'll just go into a watch. Okay. I think it's worthwhile to try and move towards going up the ladder. Okay, yes. Okay, there we go. Good thing I didn't move up right to the ladder. Looks like it missed. Looks like they're using pistols. Right, there we go. A watch, come on. Well, it doesn't hit. But it has cleared away some of the obstructing cover. I'd like some hard cover, though, to be honest. That would be preferable. I think what we're trying to do, then, is... Hmm. See, I could move up high, but then I don't get enough. I don't get the shot. Then do I? Oh, there's an enemy over here. Okay. Well, that's that makes things a bit more complicated. Hmm. Oh, that's a bike. Okay. I get a shot there. So what I'll do is I'll move to that position there. Try and aim for the arm. Oop, felt the frame rate drop there a little bit. Gonna reload. Okay, move there. 
Then what I'm going to do is have you overwatch there or there, but I can't really do both. So I'll have you overwatch to the front, I guess. Alright. Okay, this is where you kind of sell over here. And that guy is bleeding, but he's not going to die immediately. But what I could try to do then is, let's see. I've got a pretty good chance of hitting these guys, so it might be that I try to actually hit them in the head. Uh, reduce their willpower and obviously then their ability to aim. So I think I'll try and aim for the head. And fucking miss, of course. Absolutely typical. Oh, of course he hits. I mean, I really do need to move away from this position to reduce the amount of incoming fire. Fuck me. You're gonna get it now. Fuck, what? How many shots does a man have? Yeah, we should really try to move around that side. Yeah, we're still in cover, which is good news, and I could move up to, like, take advantage of that. How you doing there? Looks like good to have you, my friend. Uh, must be the first time having you on stream, so welcome, welcome. Hope you have a nice time. Uh, I could move there, which is good cover. At least I'm protected on three sides there, which is nice. I wouldn't get a second shot, so it might be that I take a shot and then move up. I might even just stay here and take a shot. We'll take a look at our chances here and see how we do. Yeah, I've got a pretty good chance to actually hit him. Uh, might be there, I just take the multiple shots there, really. I think we will. Yeah, okay, if I can hit him again, we'll be okay, I reckon. Alright, a little bit more center mass. Right, there we go, we'll take him out. <sighs> I think what we do is we just, we just move, really. Hmm... Yeah, I think what we're going to do is try to reduce the amount of uh, targets that can hit us. I'll have you move up because obviously you need to be closer to the enemy. At least there's a position where you can actually make use of that. I could have you take a shot. I think I'll move you up there, take a shot and then pull back. Issues have been hit in the head, which is unfortunate. But at least I should be able to take out one of these guys. If I take out one, then we should be good. Ah, thanks, dude. That's ah, really appreciated. I'm surprised everybody watches it, to be honest. Yeah, he's bleeding, which is the thing there. So I guess I've got to try and hit this guy. I'm going to try and hit him again in the head. Please work. Fudge! <sighs> you have one job. One job! <sighs> I keep trying to hit him in the head. Oh, shit. Yeah, the reason being... Uh, oh, he's turn-ended. That's interesting. Yeah, the, the the reason being I want to reduce his actual accuracy. Yeah, I know, right. I mean, that guy's still bleeding, so he'll eventually die, I think. <laughs> yeah, I know, right. Ah, thank you very much, there, Player Magic. Thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoy the channel, and uh, hope you stay. Right. Can he actually hit anybody? So he can hit that dude. What's his actual chances of hitting that? I mean, oh, God. I suppose I'll take the shot. If it hits the actual thing, it'll... Destroy that part of the building anyway, so we'll take the shot. Fuck's sake! <laughs> Why must you be like this? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, I should like it. Throw a grenade first. Oh, God. That's so typical. That's so, so, so typical. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> no, no, right. Uh, 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 it just doesn't, does it? Uh, I should have done this first and foremost, but it doesn't really hurt. Grenades really aren't as good as you think they would be. Issues I really do not want to be in this position, so I'm going to get the sniper moving. I think above all, the sniper really presents the opportunity to win in the long run. 
So uh, what I could do then is potentially put him in a position to overwatch here. Hmm. He does need to reload, that's the question. Well, that's the issue. I could move you back there, so you're in slightly better cover. But then, well, let's take a look at his chance to, sh like, hit here. It's not bad, actually, so I think I might try it. Yeah, honey, I, oh, okay, we actually hit something, but that's nice. There's some games I really want to go back to. Okay, I don't think we disabled the head or anything like that, but we did cause him quite a bit of damage there. Could have blown him away with a cannon, but was not to be. Right, he's still bleeding. I'm going to have to reload that assault rifle. Ooh, ouch. Mm. Okay, good. Looks like that cover's been destroyed, though. Yeah, it's been destroyed. That's not good. Shiza. Okay, I'm going to have to heal up. Oh, God. This game's brutal. Right, turn ended. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you need to get out and then heal up, really. What I'll do then is, we'll see. Do you not have any shots from this position? Mm. That full cover is nice. Ready to engage. You can't miss this. Yeah, there you go. You couldn't lie to me, there you go. I guess I could put you on Overwatch. Now, if I get there, at least I've got cover, because I've had my cover just removed here. So I've gone to get in cover. But then again, I could always relocate. Which ain't a bad idea, to be honest. So I'm going to relocate over there. I'm looking for like, some full cover, to be honest, but there really isn't. I guess we'll go at the back there, then I can heal up afterwards. I like the blood that follows, that's quite nice. It's a nice touch. Oh, can I heal? No, not yet. Okay, he's dead. That's good. Potentially dead. Oh, good shot! Good, good shot! Okay, well, he's going to be dead in like a turn or two. Excellent, excellent news. He's going up high, interesting. He's going to shoot my damage, dude, isn't he? Fucking knew it. Ah, <sighs> son of a bitch. Okay. You need to heal up. There's no good being dead. Now, you do put yourself in a position here that I can get at you. I'll take the shot. Right, almost dead. Definitely lags when he gets that bit there. Mm, he's an overwatch. Okay, not you. Alright, you would definitely kill him. I'm going to take the definite kill over the potential. Right, he's panicked. Right. I do have a shot on you. And we'll miss. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Aiming. Fuck it, take the shot. 
slow motion. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Dude's like, oh, wow, that would have been bad. Okay, she's dead. Oh, he's dead. I didn't know what the gender was. Right, he's panicked. Aha! Fuck are you? Is that Overwatch? Yep. Hmm. We're getting position. Fly boy. Right, get into that full cover. Take the shot. Nice! Damage this gun, but I don't know how that impacts on the actual game. Nice. Aiming. I need a sniper rifle that can kill in one shot. That is really just essential right now. Okay. Well, I'm in position to overwatch against anything, really. Who's to say there's nothing else? Again, I could completely redeploy him. We'll see. I can take two shots here, so I'm going to take two shots. Take this. Ooh, okay, so there's something out there. We'll fire again. Oh, I've got to reload, apparently. Actually. Yes, yeah, so there's something down there. Well, he can't do anything. Okay. On my way. Not spotted it yet, but we will do. Oh, oh, he's out of ammo, it seems. <laughs> ah, six of you. Oh, am I out of ammo? I think I'm out of ammo. I'll just whack him. That'll do it. Pleasure doing business, sir. Yeah, something there. I just need to get eyes on it. Ooh, hit the bike. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, dear. Is it going to move or is it going to stay there? No, it's going to take a shot. It's another bitch. If it's taking all these shots, I don't think I'll be able to go into Overwatch. Okay. I 
Amazing that I can't see him yet. How the hell do I not see this guy? Gotta see him after that, surely. Guess not. <laughs> oh dear. Making haste. Isn't he the fucking invisible man? Is a tree the enemy? <laughs> But the trees taunted me. Enemy oh, right, there we go. Fuck me. Only took forever. Oh, is it like some sort of... Yeah. Oh, it's an infiltrator. Okay. Okay. Oh, fine, fine, fine. They're supposed to be stealthy, so I'll let them off on this time. On this account. Shooting the head bone. Yeah, that hurts. Blow them away. There we go. You didn't even hit, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Nice. Okay, Um, we didn't die. We got hurt, but we didn't die. So, all good. All good. Nice. Quite amazed we didn't die. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I thought somebody was going to die. Yeah, this is why it's good to have invent kits, to be honest. Okay. My name is Asina, and I'd like to thank you on behalf of Synedrion as a whole. Synedrion, you know, okay. Outsiders sometimes think of Synedrion as a bunch of naive, helpless people living in a big bubble. And I know we can appear that way, but the truth is, we are more like a powder keg. Trying to build a truly democratic hmm. society without hierarchies involves a lot of arguing. The terraformers want one thing. The polyphonic tendency another. Zara clashes with Nikolai. Stas tries to keep everyone calm. Every haven has a totally different set of priorities. And then something like this happens. Kinda kinda sounds like an a, a uh, inefficient system really, doesn't it? Like mm. I'm being honest about our flaws because I think mm. crazily enough, the whole thing works. We've built something remarkable. Given everything we've been through, and the Phoenix Project could help us really make a difference on this wretched planet. Ah, uh, we're gonna Think take the reward. We, we have been good to them, really, so we'll take this reward. Yeah, there we go. Tech 200, very nice. We can work okay. Probably seems strange to you, trying to build a better world, a world radically different from the one most of us grew up in. Well, I'm sure it sounds very utopian, but. Why do we so easily accept the world getting worse? <laughs> okay, we'll be nice. I'm glad our values are aligned, at least in this matter. Please keep thinking about what kind of world you want to live in. Maybe we can build it together. Well, that's not bad. That worked out for us. It was this or barbarism. Interesting. Right. Oh, so they have fusion tech. Interesting. Hmm. Food production over here as well. Right. Military strength. Okay. 
So we'll head back to the base. Oh, I've learned some interesting things there. Learned some very interesting things. Ooh, could re reverse engineer some different weapons. That's interesting. So that's a poison crossbow. That's fascinating. Damage is 15, poison is 40. So that's quite cool, actually. So it seems like the idea behind that is obviously you get a hit and then obviously you could in theory run. As obviously then it gives you that chance for the poison to do its work. But my god, that takes 25 days. That is a long time. Um, interesting. I think interesting. We did level up, so that's quite good. Does make you wonder, should we be out here more? So it seems they're leaving, which is intriguing. Okay. I went over here somewhere. Alright, we're still well, scanning. Oh, so they're completing their own research. Interesting. Right, so we've got the new Jericho Gauls Assault Rifle. I hope we get our own version, not the same thing. But we'll see. Right, vehicles. Equipment. Ah, uh, well, yeah, okay, fair enough. Means we can actually produce it now. Do we, do we, do we, do we? Um, I'm going to say not yet, not until I can really effectively use it without any, like, detriment. So I might not be able to, like, take as many shorts or that sort of thing, really. I do need more people, though. My god, I need more. And see, I'd like to expand the actual base itself. Ooh, we have more options here. Interesting. Uh, training facility. All soldiers at the base, even assigned to aircraft, will gain two experience points per hour. That's interesting. Medical bay. We do have a medical bay. That's good. Uh, research lab. More research labs do help significantly. Storm, we've got one. I think another research lab is worthwhile, to be honest. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, research does make all the difference in the world. Okay. So I could give you more strength now if I wanted to. Warcry. All enemies within 10 hexes have their action points reduced to 2 for the next turn. Uh, it's rather interesting, but the thing shouldn't. You're always at a distance, which is a problem. Yeah. I think what we'll do is make you better at your actual job, really. Okay, we'll go with that. Alright, we'll go here. An action point cost the next shot with a proficient weapons reduced by 1 and the accuracy increased by 25. 50% bonus grenade range and 2 speed. Yeah, that's rather interesting, isn't it? Quarterback. So this is where we can make him a uh, pure sniper or whatever that... like Almost like the infiltrator to that there. Interesting. But I'm going to keep with a sniper because then again we do have to maintain distance. It's really our only hope. Well, yeah, we'll take that. That extra speed's always good, isn't it? Alright, we'll give them that. But then again, I can also give them more strength to actually increase their HP. And how far items can be thrown. Or maybe we'll just retain that. We'll retain it for the time being. Right, return fire. Okay. Right, increase perception range. Yep. Hmm. Return fire is good just because it keeps the amount of shots out there pretty consistent. Might increase the willpower yet further. Yeah, so I could go. Maybe we do go for the improved rifle, perhaps. It does do that. Burst damage, which is worthwhile. Uh, I'm pretty like um and ah about it. I mean, the f the um, scarab would be very nice to have, but it would be difficult to make use of. Really, it really is all in the infantry more than anything else. Hmm. They're not cheap things actually, so maybe I should have actually kept hold of them. But I didn't realize that scrapping them would actually just give you. Yeah, I didn't realize when you actually research, you just get the same thing. But then again, it's a human weapon, so I suppose that would make sense. But then again, it's it's spending resources. Ah, thank you very much there for the follow. Yeah, it's spending resources that we don't need to spend on something that we already have a, albeit different, 
not entirely inferior equivalent, but different. So I don't think we do that. I think we use our resources for what they need to be used for. We're producing food, which is excellent news. I mean, I could always expand the base yet further. Yeah, which makes sense. Not yet. But I definitely do need more personnel. But I'm looking forward to having a second research lab. That should significantly improve uh, the rate at which we research, which should be very nice. Right, I should be able to trade with Havens here. Right, we've established a series of diplomatic protocols for training with Havens. While many settlements may have needs that we could meet, the sad truth is that in today's atmosphere of fear and paranoia, we will have establish, uh, have to establish good relations with the Havens leadership and show where not potential swindlers or raiders before they were considered engaging in trade with us. Okay. Fascinating. Right, so it looks like I could trade food and trade materials over here. Interesting. I'm going to hold on to both for the time being. I really want to recruit more personnel, though. That's the thing I'm bloody lacking. Let's take a look at you again. So you can now carry up to 20, which is excellent. So I could even carry a reload, which... Uh, is it worthwhile? Uh, kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to get six shots, don't I? Could give them a grenade if I wanted to as well. Which, uh, uh They are useful. I could, I could carry all of it, to be honest, which, fair enough. But I'd like to give them a med. Uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is give them like an actual medikit. I think I'll have a couple of these on standby. Give them a medikit. Yeah, there we go. We've got the reloads. Still go grenade. <sighs> need, need more troops. I think what we'll do then is we'll go out to explore, I reckon. Right. Explore. Right, well, we'll go answer that. Yeah, it's one of these of if we don't do something about it early, then we won't really have much time. So, defending strength. So, at least there are defenders, which is quite nice. So, if we do actually win. Uh, I don't know what this means. Is this just... Oh, so that's her opinion of us? I, I don't know. Is that faction? Oh, so that's Haven's opinion of us. <sighs> Attacking strength, Pandoran, during the day, threat level medium, threat level midnight. <laughs> Michael J. Scott story. Okay. We'll deploy the squad. Now, let's see if I got equipment that could go on other people. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's got a medikit, which is good. Does good, yeah. Yeah. At least in this circumstance, it would not having to think where our medical kits are. We're able to just kind of, yeah. Cover only protect soldiers from damage if it's hit by an enemy fire instead of a soldier. Yeah, we do need to make sure that we have full cover as much as possible, really. Now, ideally, there are defenders as well. If they're defenders, then it should make this significantly easier. We can just, like, take an enemy down one at a time. Obviously, hold uh, distance and win in the end. But we'll see. Uh, the good news is we should gain additional items from this, so it's a bit of a win-win. Depending on how the mission actually goes. We'll see. Very much depends on how the mission goes. Oh, here we are again. <laughs> yeah, which makes sense. Same haven. Are oh, there friendly forces? Civilians. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Not happy now. Ah, uh, especially not happy. Fuck. I need to get up high. So I get there. Which means I have to go around. Oh yeah. Difficult. I might take you up high. 
at least I gain this position then it does mean they could come under attack but I think it's worthwhile to have the position at least so we can potentially see the enemy and then of course pull him back if necessary he does have a lot of HP as well so that's worthwhile bearing in mind and armor okay so we do see an enemy there so at least I can actually react to that it's a new type actually that I've not seen let's take a look at it so, Triton class. Ooh, they're armed with an assault rifle and a blood-sucking arm. Pain Chameleon. Becomes invisible when dealt damage and hide a nearby location. Interesting. Methinks we pulled back a bit. We are going to come into... It's probably going to attack us, but if I can get there, but at least it might not be able to see me per se. Right, quick aim. Hmm. At least it has revealed one enemy to us at the moment. I don't like this positioning, I'll tell you that. Okay, just going to Overwatch. Okay, we'll see how we go on. Oh, okay, you can just do that then. Okay, I didn't know it could do that. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh, well. That was lucky. Nice. Oh, of course, it buys the shield. Oh no! Oh! Oh, that sucks. Nice. Mm. <laughs> I'm not liking this. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, fuck. Oh, well, I kind of need to deal with you first, don't we? Is it possible to miss? That's an ugly son of a bitch. Well, he's stunned. I can imagine that probably hurt. Can I whack him? Yes! Whack that bitch! Oh! Did that just damage my weapon? God damn it. It's part of me that thinks maybe it's just better to run. Which it might very well be. If I get to there, I can actually take a shot, but I do not have cover. <laughs> I appreciate your uh, candor. <laughs> right, I'm going to get there. And we're spotted. Ooh. That's a lot of enemies. I think above all, if I can get away from the enemy even just a little bit. This gives me that moment just to try and... Yeah, because it's like, if I stay there, I know I'm going to be attacked. We'll just have to see how we go. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, that's that guy. Okay. Oh, is that the... I don't know. That blood-sucking bitch is going to come up here. Yeah, here it comes. I don't know what it's doing, but it's not good. Oh no, stay away. Oh, it's shooting at a civilian. Yeah, shoot a civilian, not me. At least for this moment. Looks like I can't do anything right now. Fuck off, crab man. Whew, I got for that. Oh yeah, return fire. Yeah! Well done! Oh, awesome job, man. Awesome job. Oh, no, fuck off. 
Ouch. Oh, ouch. That hurt. Oh, return fire. Nice. Yeah! Not that much damage, though. But stop shooting me. And he's fucked off. Oh, fuck's sake. There's <laughs> so many. Oh, dear. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> we might have to get out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we might have to restart. Yoklin's like, got it. But in fairness, I think what we do is we just leave you just up and cut up. This this is an unforgiving game, but if yeah, we are outnumbered, yeah, quite heavily. Oh good god. Yeah, oh god. It's just when we're split up, isn't it, really? It's hard not to. Hmm. Is a difficult mission. I don't like where we start here because the cover's not like to the orientation I'd like. Maybe we just stick to a corner and just like call it that, really. Let's do this. Hmm. I got this covered. Yeah, I just think we really just take it as slow as we can, really. Lots and lots of Overwatch. I think we'll cover this side. Moving out. Hard to say, but I think I ha I don't know. Do I cover this area immediately in front of me? Do I have cover against it? Uh, we'll see what's going to go on over here. Well, there we go. Enemy spotted. Okay. Dead ended. Oh, that's mean. Run, dude, run. You don't need that arm. You got two. Well, you had two to begin with, but you only got one now, but you know what I mean. Be happy you got one. Oh, okay. Well, she's still probably alive. Did that just say fuck you? That sounded like it said fuck you. That definitely sounded like a fuck you. Well, I could shoot you. That's super... Sure I can hit. Uh, if I could just take a shot. Nice. Good shot. Yeah, fuck off, dude. Oh, why does it move? Oh, it always moves. Uh, watch. Don't lie in this position. Ah, it's really far away. Oh, no, there's in one in here. Mm. I want to make sure we're covered in some degree. Yeah, do it. Okay, at least he's on a watch. I can shoot him in the face next turn. Right, have a watch. Shoot that bitch. Don't shoot the bin. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like the fact that they go invisible. Why would they go invisible? That's awful. Oh, was there enemies in XCOM that went invisible when they got hurt? I don't think so. Oh, well, that wasn't too much in the way of damage. At least get return fire. Not bad. Nothing major. I'm probably not going to be able to manage this mission. Yeah, they definitely say fuck you. And that is a lot of damage inflicted by her. Hmm. Okay. Not good. Uh, we'll deal with it. <sighs> Maybe we kill him. Then we try and kill him. Target 
it missed. You know, I don't know what I expect at this point. Probably should have done that, really. I just, I just, just don't know what I expect at this point anymore, to be honest. It's just, of course I'm going to miss. <laughs> Why would I not miss? Why would I not miss? Oh, he's quite far away. I guess we go for that. Oh, it's not great. Oh. Why'd you miss? Why'd you have to miss? I mean, maybe I just take the shot from here, but it means I'm open to fire from there. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, fudge. I mean, he's more the problem. Aim at his fat, ugly face. Don't do that. Why'd you get to do that? That's not fair. I think we redeploy now. Hmm. Well, then again. I just don't like the fact that we're open to the side there. Really don't like that. I'd rather move there. At least we have that cover then. I could uh, reload, which might be worthwhile, to be honest. Can I heal up? No. I have wanted to heal up instead, actually. But that's a lesson learned. Probably going to die for that now. Oh, okay, that's not good. I don't think I'm going to be able to save anybody, to be honest. That's really not good. He may die. They definitely say fuck you. They absolutely say fuck you. Did he die? I think he died. Ouch. That guy's not dead, I'm gonna be happy. But I think he's probably dead. They definitely say fuck you. I can't save these civilians. Oh, he's still alive! <gasps> Is he still alive? Is he? I can't see for the tree. <laughs> yeah, why well, would they swear? <laughs> They're still human. Well, they were human. No, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Miss Medevil, hell, how are you doing there? This is the first non-dead footage I've seen. Is the game worth it? Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm getting my ass kicked, so I'm going to have to actually... Um, I think what we'll do is we restart and we run to get the hell out of here, because I, I just I just can't win this one. Not win the starting position, like, given that. I mean, we'll give it one more go, but this is very difficult. Uh, it's very interesting. It's very, very reminiscent of XCOM. Most because they made XCOM. But it's new. But a familiar setting. Familiar controls. You'll probably sit right into it if you enjoyed XCOM. It's only been out since the 3rd of December. But it's one of these things. I don't think it's as big of a release uh, as it as you would expect. Due to the fact that, well, yeah, it's it's um, not on Steam. Which is unfortunate. I think what we'll do is we try to reduce the angles from which we get hit. Yeah, it does, it does feel harder. I think what we're going to do is going to go up high. I think that's what we're going to do, is really just try and make the most of what we've got here. Got to try and reduce your angles as well, which is really hard to do. If I reduce the um, positions in which they can approach, I'm probably in a better position than...
Hmm. I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah, I was going to try and engage them bit by bit rather than all at once, really. I think the position I was in there beforehand, it gave them the ability to really uh, gang up. I mean, we are playing on the hardest difficulty, so it is natural that we will take lots of damage. Issues with down to three men as well, which does not help us. Oh, do I, do I lose will points as well from that? That's not fair. Yeah, I mean, the willpower is really hurting us. I'm pretty glad that I increased that willpower, otherwise it would have been a difficult position from the very get-go here. We still are, but at least it's slightly better. <sighs> okay. Hmm. I think above all we stay up high. Right now we spotted. Which is over there, okay. But we haven't been spotted, so that's good. Hmm. Okay, so Dash gives me the ability to move there, but I think we'll just keep you in that position there now. Yeah, I was hoping that we would have had some like support in form of uh, Sinjian. A Sinjian. That's how it says Sinjian. Uh, defenders, but no. Right, at least we know when enemy is down below us. I can see him. He hasn't spotted us as of yet, so at least I might be able to take advantage of that. Mm, wow, that's a lot of HP. Down there, too. Yeah, we need to try and get the drop on them. And take them out. Thing is, if I can't take one out a turn, it's just it's gonna work against me. I've gotta be able to focus fire to win. I mean maybe we just aim to get as high as we possibly can and then at least we have advantage of position. But that ain't easy. Oof. That's a villain's getting murdered left, right, and centre here. There's not much I can do about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that really doesn't help, because I've just lost a turn there immediately. Uh, mm, yeah, there's an enemy right there. Oh, wow. I could throw a grenade which could disable parts of it. I can't throw it in there. God damn it. I don't think it's noticed me as of yet, so is it worthwhile taking a shot so it definitely notices? Or is it better to be an overwatch? Interesting question, really. Well, I've not been able to recruit anybody as of yet, which is unfortunate. And welcome there, Lieutenant Mike. Good to have you, my friend. And see. I could go down there and put you in Overwatch. Playing it safe. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be able to hit that. I think we're going to Overwatch. And this is it, but the... Oh wow, it's a lot of... The civilians, like, die and we lose willpower, so we do get forced to panic. Okay, that did a lot of damage, actually. 
Right, it's gonna... Okay, it's gonna run, but we'll get another shot. Take it, bitch. I think we hit it. Yeah, we did. Nice. 90 damage there. Okay, at least that one's like... Uh, finally... Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, issue is it's like I don't have a good position and I'm completely outnumbered. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we may just find this mission impossible, really. I think we, if we fail now, we'll just have to try and get out of it. Jesus. They just have that many numbers that they can just, like, bring people into position to get shots. So we're taking into consideration threats that we, we didn't even know about, really. Okay. I mean, that is full cover, but it is actually full cover. At least I can kill that enemy. So it reduces the threats down. Pretty sure we can kill it. Yep, I'll do it. There's just so fucking many of them. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Okay, try and get further back. Wait, what? Did, did I not have... Okay, I guess I had no more moves because it didn't give me the option there. It wouldn't have let me just go to that unless I could have moved. Which is how I'm going to justify it to myself because I think I might have been able to, I might potentially skip there. Yeah, he's dead. He's absolutely dead. But I think he panicked anyway. Wow, okay. The actual chances that this guy didn't die was just so small. difficult. I could move there. I think I move there. And I'm going to heal up. Yeah, use Medicaid. Hmm. Alright, we'll come back to you. Alright, let's see. Amy. It looks like it could kill it. So I'm going to give it a shot. Well, it really hurt it. I think what we'll do is we'll keep moving back. How you doing, Vandervan? Good to have you, my man. Right. I don't know if I get a shot from here. It seems so. Here goes. I can throw a grenade in here. That would actually hurt both, so I'm going to go for that. Right, that's one down. That's almost him down. Right, that's going to move somewhere else. God knows where, but it's moving. I think I move back to that position there. Yeah. 
yeah, I don't have a target anybody. So I could overwatch. Which I'm going to do. I'll keep my eyes open. That's where we're probably going to come around here. Yep. Uh, I don't know if it's mods. I can imagine it's probably mods. It, it's much like uh, XCOM, so I can't see why not. That's going to take a shot, probably. Or not. Right, take the shot. Shoot it in its ugly face. Okay, it's got hit in the head. Nice. Good job. Well, it looks like it almost broke its willpower there. That was an extreme local shot. But no, it's going to hit me in the back. Oh, you son of a horse. Shoot it in the face. Shoot it in its ugly, ugly face. <sighs> right, at least I can actually hit it again. This guy, this cannon's coming in so handy right now. As long as I don't kill my own dudes. <laughs> yeah, take that. Oh, <laughs> his cannon's so good right now. Cannon's hot right now. Okay. So I could move you there. Right, there. Enemy right, reveals that target, which I can kill. There's no way it can hit miss. There's literally no way it can miss. I would have cried had it actually missed. Hmm. I'm ready. Yeah, it's only really Overwatch here. What's our move? <sighs> Let's see. What can you do? I could heal myself, which is probably a good idea. I'll start by healing myself. Use med kit. I think it's one of those where I can't piss around here. Okay, go into Overwatch. Oh, okay. I've got to read that one in there so I can put you on Overwatch. Right, yeah, Depth says fuck you. That's a lot of damage there. Okay, now he's dead. Ah, oh, that sucks. I don't think I could have avoided that, really. Even with the Overwatch, I don't think it would have made a difference. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Hmm. I don't know what that foe is. Well, we know where other foes are, so maybe it's time we actually get inside. If I go there, at least I get a position I can use as cover. Alright, what is that foe? Okay, I don't know what that foe is. So maybe I cover the rear? Hmm. I just get that. So that's not triggered that, so if I don't trigger it, hopefully it doesn't trigger it at all. Now, there's nobody to heal up here because the other guy's dead, which is unfortunate, so I can reload. reload. So I'm going to reload. We'll see. So I might have a shot. Right. Yeah, you can't do anything else. Alright, we'll see what happens. Something's going to come down. Unfortunately, I don't have an overwatch. Oh, I do have an overwatch. Looks like I shot my dude in the back, which stops the damage, which is unfortunate. But it bugs off because it doesn't know where we are, I think. Which is excellent. Oh, no, it's there. That knows where we are. Ah, oh, don't you do that, bitch. It looks like a fish man. Yeah, fuck off, fish man. Okay, how about shooting your fish in fucking face? Is that going to kill it? That should kill it. I'll see you later, Honoris. Yeah, I'll not be too much longer, really. Right. There we go. That kills a bastard. God, I love this cannon. Holy fuck, I love this cannon. <laughs> cannon. He's amazing. Right, I can heal. So I'm going to heal you. 
Yeah. Uh, no, heal. Heal. You. Oh, do I not have enough action points to heal? Guess not. Let's see. So I could swap. H. I think I will. Okay, there we go. Now I can heal myself, which I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure I can live through those. Right, then I'm going to reload. Uh, I've got a decent amount of ammunition, but I'm going to reload anyway. I could have actually gone for the willpower thing, but uh, it is what it is. Right. Yeah. So it's going to come in here. It's going to hit one of us. Probably going to go for the weaker guy. Or maybe it's going to go for you. You just made a big, big mistake. Nice. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I think we're actually going to win this mission. Go to hell, bitch. My god, I love this cannon. Did we win? <gasps> holy shit, that was hard. Okay, we didn't even level up, but holy shit, that was hard. Wow. Cannon's so hot right now. <laughs> I would have been fucked without that cannon, man. I would have been absolutely fucked without that cannon. We absolutely need more people. Absolutely need more people. So we are so outnumbered, it's not even funny. Oh, dear. That is really hard. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we need to recruit somebody ASAP because I cannot carry on anymore, though. But we managed it, we actually saved it, and we actually gained some uh, stuff, which is nice. Uh, so we gained some Synergian pistols and weapons, laser, oh wow, laser sniper rifles, laser assault rifle, holy shit, that's cool. So yeah, we came out of that, we gained food, we gained materials, we gained science. You've successfully defeated all hostile forces, the leader of the Haven is grateful for your help. I don't know what this is, minus one, I don't know, something or other, but nice. You seem to be genuinely on our side. And everyone here at Synedrin mm. really appreciates that. Please understand that we are cautious with organizations such as the Phoenix Project. Not because we're trying to be obstinate, but because... At this moment, mm. we have a couple of really important projects running. The sort that could actually change the future. Like improving our mist repelling tech, which may allow us to peacefully coexist with the new ecology or deploying a new breed or modified plant to help us reclaim the planet for ourselves. Believe me when right. I say we've had a lot of debates about which approach is better, and there are some pretty opinionated factions forming. In any case, we're lacking enough people to support both projects at once, and it's a bit of a deadlock. So if you could lend a hand with one of them, that would mean a lot. Well, there's no room on this world. For two dominant species. So, hmm. you're on Nikolai's side of this debate, are you? He's one of the Terraformers, the faction that believes in, well, I suppose you could call them radical humanists. They believe we should be unafraid to seize power for the people, to assert the supreme okay. value of human life. And right, that was very hard. That was super hard work. Right. Exploration site there. <sighs> Pandoran nest. Okay, that's not exactly great for us, is it? I need I need to recruit. I absolutely need to recruit. Got a diplomacy there, which I'll take a look at. Uh try to an autopsy. Hmm. Synergian. That gives us tech. So I could reverse engineer that, which is the poison crossbow that we talked about earlier. But I've got some nice new weapons, which is good. Actually, genuinely good weapons, which is good. Pandoran colonies. Destroy Pandoran colony. Interesting. Right. I think all we need to do then is if we take a look at how to further increase our damage against some of the good. Um, I think we'll go for, yeah, we'll go for the delirium. And then we'll figure it out. 
I need I need new people though. Absolutely. But we've got some nice new equipment though, so we'll see what we can get. Or what we can use. Yeah, let's see. Is that a magazine? Are you, are you actually kidding me? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've got a magazine, but not a fucking rifle. Dicks. <sighs> Power Genesis. Let's see, if I head over here... Well, actually, I'm already here at Haven, so can I not recruit? How do I recruit? Diplomacy. Right. Objectives. Sabotage to Nidrian Haven. Oh, okay. That's for new Jericho. Deploying genetically modified seeds in an attempt to retake the ecosystem. I think I'd rather go for that. We do have 24% here. Alright, attitudes towards New Jericho. Attitudes towards Sinindrian. Attitude towards Phoenix. Okay. Wow. Hmm. That is a tough one. But I, I need new people. I cannot do anything until I have more people now. There's legitimately no other way. So what we're going to do is just push forward with time. This is super tough. Okay, there we go. Uh, algorithm has been developed. This will allow us to keep track of our strength. Uh, keep track of the strength of the unknown mental phenomena caused by Pandoran presence, which appear to be increasing in severity as they expand their grip on the world. As ODI increases more, humans will experience nightmares, hallucinations, detachment from reality, and eventual brain seizure and death. Wow. We've estimated a tipping point for the ODI beyond which human race cannot be saved. That is. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's what we're going to take in consideration then. Right. One of the last things that Dr. Randolph Symes the Third worked on before leaving Phoenix Point was the Oniac Delirium Index, an attempt to quantify the unexplained mental influence of the Pandorans of the Pandorans. He feared the frequent reports of strange nightmares and hallucinations might be attributed to something more than psychological trauma, perhaps some sort of telepathic attack. Under different, uh, different circumstances, the idea might seem fanciful, but even Phoenix Project operations have reported Oh, operatives have reported cinema for phenomena. Can't speak at the moment. Right, let's see. Phoenixopedia. Uh, what I want to find out then is how to recruit. Uh, recruit. Um, soldiers. Um, personnel. Uh, I don't know. Havens. Right. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I've got the option as of yet, which is really tough. I mean, maybe I tried to invest in the Scarab here. Yeah. It might be worthwhile, to be honest. That science would be really, really handy, to be honest. So that would allow me to improve the base, potentially. Uh, I'm going to go for that and then go for the autopsy. I see manufacturing. Vehicles. I'm going to build a scarab. It's going to take nearly a week. But I think it will be more than worthwhile. Oh, okay. This new Jericho neural tech you've been hearing about. Hmm. It sounds like a pretty cool technology, really. But has anyone thought about how easily it could be abused by, uh, I don't know, an autocratic leader with delusions of grandeur? Right. I was going to say no comment. Oh, and that uh, hurts my attitude with both. Spend some time thinking about how the technology... Well, that's no good. The more the disciples of Anu invest into this mutation <sighs> tech, the further away they will move from what New Jericho considers humanity. This is not a... Oh, okay. There is still time to <laughs> look to reason, not superstition for solutions. God damn it. Yeah, it's hard to please everybody, isn't it? 
I think we'll focus on them, considering I've got the best re uh, well, reputation with them. Actually, I don't think my reputation suffered too much. All right, there we go. Uh, Synodrium is an amalgamation of several uh, political movements with roots in social ecology, anarcho syndicalism, and similar belief system. Built on a strong opposition to hierarchies, uh, Synodrium is egalitarian and radically democratic, with decisions being made by a public assembly. Despite this, certain more prominent individuals do exist, and two streams of thought have begun to crystallize the polyphonic, polyphonic tendency, which believe that the origin of humanity's dysfunctional relationship with the environment lies in hierarchies of dominance and the terraformers who believe in putting humans first and nonetheless oppose the ideal leadership. Okay, uh, the current goal of Synodrium is finding a way of coexisting with the new ecosystem, but that goal is being challenged from within. Okay, interesting. Synodrium was built on a dream. A world without hierarchies, without leaders, where human beings could embrace the potential of technology without its destructive side effects. The radicals of the old world had been proven right. The status quo could not sustain itself. But what now? What was the next step? Some argued for coexistence with the Pandoran ecosystem, hoping for a peaceful solution. Others advocated putting humanity before nature and claiming the planet for themselves. Trusting in the safety of their havens, the people of Sanhedrin argued about the best way forward, but the Pandora virus had little interest in their arguments, and its power was still growing. Hmm. Okay. Well, wait, I'm just gonna, scar I'm just gonna make up for squad <laughs> losses with scarabs. <laughs> oh dear. Who needs people when you have tanks? <laughs> oh dear. Alright, I just need to be able to recruit. I don't even know if I'm doing it wrong or right. Right, there we go. Phoenix Grenade Launcher. Interesting. Goliath. Cool. Ah, early mutations of this creature are type are associated with the first Miss Incursion 2029. The vast population that were compelled to walk zombie-like into the sea under the influence of the mist have been merged somehow with sea creature DNA to create these Frankenstein monsters. Now we are seeing increasing numbers of Amphorons on land. The hypothesis is that land based gestation structures are bringing amphorons under cover of a new mist outbreak. The latest amphoron mutation have little humanity left in them, and they are considerably more dangerous to civilian populations. The longer term danger is that we expect their evolution to continue at a rapid pace. Okay. 25% amphoropod, 50% human, 6% unknown. Interesting. Right. Cloned and mutated. I need to recruit so bad right now. I can crane this one, it's quite good. Could be worthwhile. They are very expensive, however. So I don't know if it's worth it. Not right to the second, not what I'm lacking personnel. I can go there to exploration point. Hmm. I just, I just can't do anything right now. I just can't. I don't have the people. I suffered. I barely made it with, like, that many. <sighs> yeah. Right, put it on the manticore. Hmm. Okay, mission. Yeah. Oh. Well... What I'm going to do is save it here, and then I'll attempt to go for that mission, but I really am out of luck here if I do not gain any additional recruits, because I can't, I can't continue like this. We have got an additional research lab, which is helping us out, which is excellent. I'm going to go over there, try to go ahead with a mission. Start mission. Oh, God. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how we get on here. At least we have got an armored vehicle. At least we have got something to help us out. But I really am lacking here. I am in it's incredible that there's just not that many opportunities to recruit here. That really is hurting me right now. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe with the vehicle we might have a chance. I mean, it is armoured. It does have, supposedly, uh, I think it has rocket launchers of some nature. So at least we do have, you know, something to work. 
something but if it dies well oh well it it's an investment of materials and etc and time uh, but it's not an investment of like well it's not a loss of skill points it's not a loss of like experience really it's just a vehicle and vehicles are outdone by personnel we'll see Okay. Ah, oh, shit, this thing's hot. It's very large, though. But at least this map is pretty... Well, wow. Yeah, this place is really beaten up. Ah, secure the area. Where do I plant the seeds? Do I plant the seeds up there? Are you for real? Hmm. I guess we'll just move forward with this thing. Right, do I plant seeds in there too? Let's move forward. That's really cool. Launch missiles. Doesn't have that many shots and doesn't seem to have reload, so we'll just have it stand by. Okay. I guess I'll have you dash. Oh, so I still get a movement then. Okay, that's nice. Maybe we'll move there. Right, something's been spotted, which is all the way over there. Okay. Right. Willpower. Oh, that's Dash. Right, just hold your position. One at a time, really. That's all I can do. Tank's gonna really remain in the center, to be honest. Right, yes. Okay. Well, at least I can use the tank to destroy that thing. Yeah, the tank's going to really be there just to, like, stay out in the open, just blast the living hell out of them as much as possible, really. Can't move terribly far. I could even move there, which I think at the end of the day we make sure we use this thing as, like, almost like cover. So we'll move there. Love the way it moves. All right. So they are, like, effectively rocket-launched. So, oh, wow, it's just literally artillery. Oh, that's amazing. <sighs> just make me wonder, is it worthwhile using it now? I think what we'll do, then, is we use the others, see if we can get shots off on others before we do that. Hmm. So I'll move there. And let's see. Chances to hit aren't amazing. But if I do hit, I could kill it. We'll see. Of course I fucking miss. <sighs> Typical. Yeah, it's one of these. Launches two missiles at the target. Mm, I think we cover you. Boom, boom. Well, kills him in one, so that's excellent. Blast a living hell out of the area as well. Right, I'm gonna move there by dash. Okay, so have I planted them? Oh, the fudge is that? Don't know what it is. What is it? A siren. Mind control. Oh, fucking course. Right, we're gonna blow that shit uh, up a bit distance. I don't even know if I planted it. Have I got to secure the area? I don't bloody know. Oh dear. 
Right, take position there. Let's take a look at our shots then. Yeah, not very likely. It's got a different head. We'll shoot it. Okay, we disabled the head, which is good. I think it's a different alien from what we've actually come across. No, no, it's it's one of those bastards. Ah, uh, fudge. Get back a little bit further. Uh, I can blow it with a cannon when it comes close. Wow, that... Is it the siren one? It's like a sniper or something. Shit. Oh, shit. It's taking a lot of fire. Yeah, wow. Ouch. Yeah, but it is taking a lot of shots right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have this thing live. But at least I can fire rockets off and blow those bastards up. Where the fudge did that shots come from? Uh, they came from over here and they were like sniper rifles. Okay. I'm really amazed at just the amount of damage it took, man. I think when I move, I think I move there, ideally out of the way of enemy fire, and then I find the rockets off. Which should blow these bastards to hell, ideally. Okay, siren, super tough. Really tough. Right, just try and aim for center mass as much as possible. Please hit. Oh, for God's sakes. Well, I blew that tree apart. Fuck that tree in particular. Ah, fudge. Right, I could actually have been in a position. Can I get a full? No, yes. Right, dash there. And I can get into that position there, which is full cover. Alright, fire weapon. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to hit. But it says I should be able to hit, so we'll try to hit. Did, did that hurt me? It actually fucking hurt me. Are you for fucking real? Right, get further back. God damn it. If I'd have known about it, I would not have done that. Okay, well. The tank's taken a lot of hits. But if we can tank it, then okay. It's, it's taken fire from the back of the map. Something's got a bloody rifle or something crazy. Ah, Jesus. Do not like that thing. Oh, fudge your course. I don't know what to do with this thing. It, it, it can't do no. <laughs> oh, shit. What do you do with a tank that has no ability to fight? What, what do I do with this? Can I run it over? No, I can't. Do I use it as just like a forward reconnaissance? I am probably going to have to restart this mission, aren't I? Ah, uh, fudge. Let's use this forward recon then, figure out what's going on. Because I'm probably going to have to restart this mission anyway if this thing's fucked. Oh wow, it's just lots and lots of enemies, okay. But we are going to have to restart this mission because I cannot win this mission without this. I just can't. There's no way. This game's hard. It's so hard with so little people. Like, I don't know why the game hates me so much. <laughs> because it's not letting me recruit anybody. I cannot do much. Okay. I'm just going to have to keep this thing back, aren't I? At the end of the day, it is off map artillery. So, yeah, we're just going to keep it there. As far back as possible, really. And use those artillery. 
Okay, so we know that that's not actually a spot to like plant anything, so it's really not much in the way point, but uh, I could get out of cover there, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to dash that position there. If I can spot the enemy, I can kill them. If I can kill them, that'd be nice. Right, so there's a dude over here. I can blow him to hell, which I'm going to do to begin with. Go to hell in a little tin hat. I know there's others around him. Did we kill more than one thing? I don't know. I just blew up a lot of map though. I blew him up. Maybe there was something else. Who knows? Right, we got up to that position there. Enemy spotted. Enemy spotted. Okay. So we spotted a siren, which I don't think I want to alert it as of yet. Where the fuck is the siren? Oh, right. It's all the way over there. There's the enemy there. Uh, is that a slightly different one than we've seen? Right. Spitterhead. Wow. Launcher arm. Okay. Brilliant. I think what we do is we just maybe hold back. Maybe. Maybe. I guess we'll go for that. Hmm. I could get you in there at least. That's not bad cover. We'll get you in there. Alright. We're going to use our artillery and really, really, really use it. Okay, so there's something over there. I hate how they move. That's so freaky. That siren is very tough, though. I really don't like the bone <laughs> on the floor. That's awful. I think what we try to do is focus on the on the weaker enemies. If I can kill something in each turn, then I'm happy. Oh, there's two enemies over there. Oh, if only they'd been close enough, I could have blown them both up. Right, you've been alerted. That's not good. Uh, I think I hit the one that was alerted. Right, blow that to hell. Kill it. Right, I've got to move it out of the way now. No, it's still alive. God damn it. Lucky son of a bitch. Right. Move it further into cover. Okay. We're going to get down here and deal with this threat first. Indeed. Right, I do spot an enemy over there. I could try to engage it. But maybe I'm better off to go into Overwatch. But at least I can actually protect myself somewhat. I got this covered. Hmm. Got a shot on that, but man, I do not want to get close. We need like a secondary armament for this guy. We'll get you there. Guess reload. Okay, call it that. Oh, I hate that thing so much. Right, at least I might be able to hit both of them actually with rockets, so that's really quite nice. I am quickly getting outnumbered here. Yeah, shoot the tank. Tank can take it for quite a while. Which ain't too bad. I, on the other hand, really can't too much. Right, it's got a shotgun. That's not nice. I could maybe hit both of these and kill both of these. I think what we do is really look at what is the best economic use of force. Just outside. 
But I can definitely hit these guys, which would almost kill... I don't know, I don't think it'd kill both. But I could finish off one, but I think we try to hit this one as much as we can. Maybe it'll kill both. Right, kills one. That's good enough for me. Not liking how desperate things are right now. I've got to move up so I get a better shot, really. Aiming. Hmm. See, I could kill that, but I don't know if I could definitely like, hit it. Whereas you, you're a bit more in the open, so I could take the shot. Are you fucking kidding me? This cannon's good, but my god, it misses often. Which really sucks. Oops. Can you still throw a grenade? Taking action. No, wrong dude. Ready. Oh, you understand by now? Guess you're done now, aren't you? You don't. What's our plan? Mm. Can dash. He's like, well, he's dead. That thing's really gonna fuck me up. Let's see. So I can only hit you right now. Or if I throw that grenade, I don't know if it'd definitely kill it. Well. Got to get moving. Oh, hey, that it won't kill him. That's really bad. I was kind of hoping it would kill him. Ah, oh, shit. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Well, did not mean to do that. So that's gonna fuck me all over. Yeah, that was a miss. Misclick. Well, fuck. That really fucks me over now. He might live, but he's probably going to die. Might have to restart it again, or just give the mission up, but we'll see. <sighs> oh, good god. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to restart. I cannot... Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Wow. I suppose there's some ways it protects him. In other ways, we're going to kill that thing before... Wow. Ah, uh, this, this game's so tough. <laughs> it is just so, so tough. Oh, good god. Even with this scarab, I'm still so outnumbered, it's unreal. Out of ammo. Oof. Even even that wouldn't kill it. These things are tough. And of course I miss. Okay. <laughs> We're fucked. Okay, what we are gonna do then is gonna go back to that save. And uh, yep. Okay. We just we just can't just can't win this. So what we're gonna do then is go back to the safe. Oh, my ass is numb. And I'm gonna call the stream to an end. But it's been fun. It's been fun. I just need more troops. So when I upload this video. Tell me how to recruit troops, because I'm fucked up. <laughs> I just... I just don't have the numbers. And without the numbers, I'm just I'm just bound. Uh, but I'd like to say a big thank you for watching that, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and it's been a lot of fun, actually. It's been really, really fun. So this is it. Maybe we just take our vehicles. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, how are you doing there, Grim? Um, yeah, they just stopped. I don't know. A lot of people just stopped doing it disappeared somewhere. I don't know. It's one of these things, but oh well, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, unfortunate, really. 
But there we go. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, do go ahead and subscribe to my channel on YouTube and follow me here on Twitch as well. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye for now. Have a beautiful evening and an even better day. See you later.